Here are some new opportunities for eligible international medical graduate doctor. In this video, I'm going to tell based on your level of experience, whether you're a medical student, completed your residency, completed your fellowship, an experienced person. Let's do this together. Hi there, I'm Dr. Rajiv Oyer, a double board certified doctor working in the USA for last many years, cutting hundreds of doctors like you. If you're a medical student, the first step you would require is to complete a residency. Now you want to think about what is your goal in life. If your goal is to continue in your home country, you are better of doing your postgraduate training in your home country but if you're someone looking into establishing yourself in let's say USA, Canada, Australia or other countries then I would encourage you to do training in those countries if you have not done any PG training. So for example in the US you would require the completion of USMLA exams and obtain ECFMG certification following which you can apply for residency matching through NRMP. In Canada you would do the same requirements and apply through CARMS. In Australia you will have to go through the AMC exam and obtain your position as a registrar and then subsequently follow the steps to be Royal College certified in Australia. Now let's move on to the next category. What if you have already completed a postgraduate training in your home country? If you have someone who has completed residency in your home country or anywhere else, then you can certainly explore the options of applying for clinical fellowships. For majority of you, you may still have to get back into residency, but that really depends on how strong your background is and what other things you have accomplished in your career. Now generally, for doing clinical fellowships, in the USA, you do require USMLE exams. Of course, there are exceptions to this. And if you're looking at any exceptions, we will be more than happy to guide you through this pathway. You could also look into one of our videos where we have explained the exception when we have talked to one of the eligible international medical graduate doctor. Now in Canada, you generally do not require any exams and that might be a fantastic option for many of you. Of course, they do have other types of requirements that you may have to satisfy before you apply for their clinical fellowships. Sure. The other countries also offer similar options. Now let's move on to the third category. If you have someone who's already completed residency or postgraduate training and have quite some experience, then it really depends on what sort of experience you have. Then you're looking at more and more options. There are options like how one can directly transition into the USA directly as a consultant or an attending physician without having a zero prior US experience, even without completing USMLA. And these are the pathways through which we have extensive expertise on and same thing exists in Canada. So there are various pathways that Canada provides, mainly through the Medical Council of Canada, the Royal College of Canada, and it depends on what your country of training is and where you're coming from, etc. Now, the last category of people are those who have completed their medical school training from an accredited place. Of course, all these pathways require accredited medical training and subsequently you've also completed your residency training. And let's say you're quite well established in your specialty, not only clinically, but also in multiple domains of your specialty. In this case, there are options of directly transitioning to the USA as an attending physician. Again, very few candidates would be eligible for something like this because the hospitals look at really outstanding candidates. But this is a pathway that potentially exists for quite a few and we have helped quite a few of them be successful in this pathway across multiple specialties and these generally do not require any USMLE. Or rather I should say the hospital would be willing to hire these candidates even without USMLE would be probably more apt to say. Again, I don't mean to discourage anyone from writing USMLE. In fact, I encourage you to write it. There are quite a few options even without any exams in the US. And once one becomes established, there are again many different pathways to be board certified. This is different in different specialties. Another area where we have extensive expertise in. And I encourage you to watch this video where we have mentioned about the alternate pathway for certification. So this means an eligible candidate would transition into the USA and become US board certified with without having any prior US experience until they get this job offer. Now this exists across all 50 states and across almost all specialties. There are also many states that have passed laws and those are other options that exist for eligible international medical graduates. And those options do exist even for fresh graduates in many countries who have not done any residency program. That I would say it's more like the fifth option. It's not the fifth pathway. The fifth pathway is conceptually very different from all this, but I won't get into the details of fifth pathway in this video because we almost never see anyone who is eligible through the fifth pathway. This used to be existing in the past, not anymore. So IMGs who are in their senior years are some of them who are eligible through the fifth pathway, but generally most people are not. There is a sixth option where many states provide opportunities for medical graduates who have not done any PG to bridge their career and function in a clinical way and then build their CV and then become established to apply for residency and be competitive enough. So these are the many 
different pathways that exist for eligible international medical graduates. In fact, there is also another pathway, I shouldn't say a pathway, but the seventh option, which is transitioning as a research fellow. We get this question quite a lot, but I have to mention that if you do transition to a research fellow, all the earlier options that I mentioned typically go away. For well, this is why this is not one of my favorite options because our focus is to bring in candidates directly clinically and not through research where they can continue contributing clinically to the patient care in the US using all these various options. Now, if you happen to be a hospital or a hospital leader watching this, I welcome you to speak to us through our website. You, there is a tab called hospitals and universities. So you are welcome to put in your information and we will get in touch with you and then explain you the process. So if you're looking to hire an eligible international medical graduate, we can help you with that. Next, I encourage you to watch this video where I mentioned about all the different ways of how one can be board certified in the US without having any prior years experience. Any questions, do post in the comments below. If you need our guidance, you can always go to our website, www.imgsecrets.com from where you can book an appointment with me or one of our experts. We will be more than happy to guide you. Any questions, do post in the comments below. Take care, stay safe. I'll talk to you soon. Here are some new opportunities for international medical graduate doctors in 2020. Here are some new opportunities, but there are many options through which the, there are many options without, there are quite a few options even without any exams in the US.